Healthier Together. Sponsored by Regents Blue Cross Blue Shield of Oregon. Recovery is an action word. You have to show up for your recovery. The holidays can be a triggering time for people dealing with substance abuse. In this week's Healthier Together, we're focusing on staying sober during the holidays and supporting your loved ones in recovery. To talk about it, I went to two different mics. Mike Heavy is a patient care supervisor at Fora Health, a local treatment and recovery center. Mike Vini is a mental health speaker and author. The holidays bring up things for everyone and we're all triggered regardless of whether you're in recovery or struggling with mental health challenges i mean there's changes to your routine uh holiday parties family drama and stress and money we have that guilt and shame that is still right here vibrant in our minds you know and separated from our families from our kids you know from just the wreckage of of our decisions of the past there's a lot that piles on this time of year. Stress, social isolation, grief and loss, and all of those holiday traditions wrapped up in drinking. A big piece of it is connection and being community and being part of something. And when we go to these places and there's all this drinking and you know it's and or partying, it's, it's, it can be challenging. According to the CDC, the most dangerous times of the year for drug and alcohol related deaths are December and January. It's important to block out time for your mental health, no matter how busy you are. It really, really is. For people who are grieving or dealing with loss or anger, it's important to acknowledge your feelings and feel your feelings and know that it's okay. Remember, it's okay to not be okay. And there are steps that you can take to stay sober and take care of your mental health this time of year. Limit your triggers. Recognize those triggers and try to limit them. Stress, environment, certain people. Set boundaries. Know how you'll decline alcohol or substances and practice how you'll respond to questions about your recovery that you might not be ready to answer. Be intentional about the invitations you accept. You don't have to say yes. Create a plan and take it day by day. Engage in healthy self-care. Pick up a new healthy activity. A new outlet may help prevent you from falling back into old patterns. And find your support system. Make time to find a meeting. Reach out to the people in your life who are there to help you through your recovery and find people who can relate to your recovery journey. And if a loved one is going through recovery, it's important that friends and family support them. Make time for your loved ones, check in on them, and create spaces that are comfortable and supportive of them. Remember, 988 is the mental health crisis line where people are ready to talk 24-7. The Substance Abuse and Mental Health Administration also operates a free helpline. You can call them at 1-800-622-4357. Get connected and, you know, I truly feel every success story in recovery is a miracle. And this is the miracle season, you know what I mean? So it's time. For more resources, head to kgw.com slash healthier together.